Math 95, Quiz 6. A motorboat takes five hours to travel 200 kilometers going upstream. The return trip takes four hours going downstream. What is the rate of the boat in still water and what is the rate of the current? So this problem is a boat traveling in a river with current, but similar problem might be a plane flying through the air with wind or um, a person moving along a moving sidewalk. All of those are similar. So what we want to do is we want our two variables to be these two parts that we need to find. The rate of the boat in still water and the rate of the current. So let's let x equal rate of boat in still water And let's let y equal the rate of the current, so how fast that water is moving. If you think about it, as we're moving upstream, that means we're going against the current. So I'll write that down, upstream equals against the current. That means it's pushing against you and slowing you down. And so basically the rate going upstream is going to be x, the rate of the boat, minus the rate of the current, because it's decreasing by that. That's how much it's pushing against you. Whereas if your boat is going downstream, now you're going with the current. So downstream means the current is behind you and it's pushing you, making you go faster. And so that rate would be x plus y. The current adds to your boat's rate. All right, um, back in our word problem, it says that the motorboat takes five hours to travel upstream. So our time is five, and our distance is 200 kilometers. And so the return trip takes four hours, it says. So downstream takes four hours, and that's also the same distance of 200 kilometers. We can now use these two lines um, to make two separate equations. So remember that distance is the same as rate times time. And so when we multiply these together, it should equal the distance. So we have x minus y times 5 equals 200. Or we can rewrite that using distribution as 5x minus 5y equals 200. And the second one would be x plus y, that quantity times 4, equals 200. Using distribution, we can rewrite that as 4x plus 4y equals 200. This is now my system of equations that I need to solve. Um, I want uh, to get the number in front of y to be the same so that these will cancel out. And so let's multiply that entire first equation by 4 and the entire second equation by 5 so that these numbers will match. So 5 times 4 would make that first equation 20x minus 20y and then 4 times 200 is 800. The second equation I multiply everything by 5. 5 times 4 makes 20x plus 20y, and then 5 times 200 would be 1,000. Now you'll notice that my y terms, I have a negative 20 and a positive 20. So if I add these two equations together, the y terms will cancel out, and I'll have 20x plus 20x is 40x, and 800 plus 1,000 is 1,800. And now I can divide everything by 40. And so 1,800 divided by 40 is equal to 45. So x is 45. That tells me that the rate of the boat in still water is 45 kilometers per hour. I still need to find y, the rate of the current. So I can use either of these equations. Um, let's actually use the ones with the fives, and this one, and put that back in. Five times 45 minus 5y equals 
200. So 5 times 45 is 225 minus 5y equals 200. Subtract the 225 from both sides. And I'd have negative 5y equals negative 25. Dividing by negative 5 gives me y equals 5. And so that's the rate of the current, 5 kilometers per hour.